Just got to Toy Story parking lot, which is located on Harbor Boulevard and Convention Way. It is right across the Hilton and Anaheim Convention Center for reference. It's 5.10 a.m. And I did ask the cast member at the parking booth if they're gonna be opening Toy Story at 12 a.m. every day from now on, or at least for a while. And he said, yes, this is gonna happen as long as the hype is real for Rise of the Resistance. Toy Story parking lot is gonna be the main one. And here we are at 5.10 in the morning. But we gotta walk all the way down, which security and the buses are on that end. So the new process you gotta do now when you get a Toy Story is you gotta walk all the way by 21B Woody. And located here is the fences and the security entrance. And then the buses that'll take you to the harbor uh, entrance into the Espionage over there at Disneyland. After you get off the bus on Toy Story on that end, they're gonna walk everybody through and then you're gonna be going through security at this side of Harbor. Lots of security today, so it'll be hopefully a quick service when it gets crowded later on in the day. Uh, as of right now, it's only about 5.20 in the morning. Woo, it's cold. It is about 5.40 a.m. They finally started letting people in, surprisingly out of nowhere. So the lines are just about right here is how long they were before they started letting people in. But it's cool that they're letting people in so early so the crowds don't pile up too big over here at the Espionage. This is so cool, I'm excited. Light it up. One really good tip that I got from uh, one of the people I met here today in the morning, if you do get a coffee from Starbucks and you are waiting in line here to get on for Rise of the Resistance early, early in the morning, like five or 6 a.m., mobile order your Starbucks drink and it should be about 30 minute wait, but at least you could just walk in, get it and uh, leave. Because a lot of people were saying, if you go to that Starbucks right now this early in the morning, because everybody's going, it's like an hour wait just to get a Starbucks. So mobile order, that's a huge tip, okay? It's more, more testing. Just got inside Disneyland right at 6 a.m. And it's not too crazy. Surprisingly, but we have to go inside the main street. The tough part is, is we still have to wait for the virtual queue. So just because we're inside Disneyland doesn't necessarily mean we could get a boarding group. Uh, as we were told, the boarding groups don't start till 8 a.m. So the virtual queue is at 8 a.m. Just locked inside of Disneyland. What a beautiful sight it is at 6 a.m. It's still dark out here. But I wanted to show you, this is the new guide map that has arrived for opening day, Rise of the Resistance. How cool is that? As I was saying, the next thing we're doing is just chilling, I guess. Uh, there's nothing we can really do until we get the opportunity to get a boarding pass. So the next step to do is just wait till 8 a.m. And then at that point in time, get on the Disneyland app and get the boarding pass as fast as possible. Eight o'clock this morning, guests may join the queue through the Disneyland app. Once again, the virtual queue for admission to Star Wars Rise of the Resistance will open at eight o'clock this morning. Thank you. We do have confirmation now that they will not be issuing boarding passes for Rise of the Resistance till 8 a.m. So kind of what we're all doing right now is we're all on a standby till 8 a.m. So we could all get the boarding passes through the Disneyland app at 8 a.m. So just want to get that information clear. We have started moving now closer to the castle. Uh, probably just how they do regular rope drops. Opening day, Rise of the Resistance. 
<laughs> what has happened now is we are all lined up at the castle area. This is as far as they're letting us go. This is what it looks like outside. What do you think about this process so far, Danny? Uh, I think it's really dumb. <laughs> uh, I will say, thankfully, it's not as crazy as Florida. That's, well, a, that's one thing I, I was think, talking about. I think it's a benefit because when in Florida, if you got here early, you got a boarding pass. And here, and here, they're literally irrelevant. waiting for thousands of people to all do it at the same time. They're just Which, asking for the app to crash. To crash. It's yeah. going to crash. And at least at Disney World, it was spread out. We all got it when we got in. Yeah. So there was time for it to, you know, take the people in. Yeah. And now it's like, everyone's going to try Are all at once. Are we doing once. interviews? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> so, what do you guys think about this process so far? I think it's going to not work out really well. It's insane. I think it's kind of a mess. Yeah. It, it, there's no benefit to showing up early. I feel like Disney had a plan for way less people, and that's what they kind of were like, maybe we'll open me. I think they just woke up and they're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds better. And uh, the thing Danny was saying, Disneyland is just asking for the app to crash. Yeah, oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, just told us, like, don't worry about going to a kiosk, just try to do it on your phone. I was like, Maybe we should do it on a kiosk. That's what we're, that's saying. That's what we're headed to. Yeah, I yeah. think we should. But she was like, No, 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 where, where, where are the kiosks located? Oh, so we run to one of them. Yeah, no, sir, no running. Yeah, no running. We walk to one of them. <laughs> one thing, too, I do want to talk about what we all did since we're a party of five. We all linked our passes on everybody's app. So everybody's pass is linked on my app, on my Disneyland app. And then everybody's linked on Danny's, everybody's linked on Melissa's, everybody's linked on Noah's, everybody's linked on Megan's. So everybody's gonna try to get a boarding group at 8 a.m. and whoever gets, I guess like the first boarding group, that's how it's all gonna work out. Oh, this is like kind of chaotic. Uh, I hope I'm being as informative as possible for opening day. Uh, but as time goes on, I'll have more uh, uh, like established information of how this is all going down. But right now it's uh, about 6.45 or so, and we're just waiting at the castle. That's literally what's happening. Star Wars Rise of the Resistance attraction. Beginning at 8 o'clock this morning, guests may join the queues through the Disneyland app. So what it's looking like, uh, it doesn't matter if you show up early. No, it didn't matter. Good morning. And oh. welcome to Disneyland. Yeah. He keeps reminding us 8 a.m. <laughs> 8 a.m. So, so everyone's going to get on at 8 a.m. The whole thing's just going to... It's going to crash. The app's going to crash. It's not going to work. And uh, one thing, too, just to like let people know in the future that are coming, don't show up at 4, 3 a.m. Don't get here early, 12, 30 a.m. Yeah, Noah's been here since 12, 30 not worth it yeah and disneyland sticking strong to 8 a.m yeah boarding pass queue yeah. that's when it'll open up to Obviously, everybody like, disneyland changes their mind on things so frequently so i could imagine that if today doesn't do well like it crashes and all this problem i could see them changing for the rest of the weekend and the rest of the week like whenever they let you in you get a boarding pass yeah so the more and more time goes on the more it looks like showing up early just doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Not at all. No. I'm trying to start a wave. Ignite the spark! <laughs> Fired up. Fired up! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My shit's not opening. This is a rope drop cube. Yeah. This is yeah. Rope drop. yeah, the rope drop. Okay, look, like my boarding sat is not working. Okay, so rope drop happened out of nowhere. Look at the chaos. This is 7.45 a.m. right now. And they're only letting people in through Frontierland right now. Uh, I don't know about Tomorrowland. Cube will be used for the all-new Star Wars Rise of the Resistance attraction. Beginning at 8 o'clock this morning, guests may join the queue through the Disneyland app. Once again... So rope drop happened at 7.45. Now we're walking to Galaxy Edge. Uh, but we're still walking with just a bunch of cluelessness. Uh, I don't even know if they're letting us go into Galaxy Edge right now or what. <laughs> we're going to figure this out. 
If you are trying to go to Rise of the Resistance, the best way to do it is through Pirates all the way to Critter Country on that far end. It is the furthest walk, but that's the most direct path to Rise of the Resistance. We're outside of Haunted Mansion right now, and there's a, a big long line that's actually occurring. Uh, what that is for, it's not for Rise of the Resistance. It's actually to get a manual uh, boarding pass. So there's a kiosk all the way in the front. Uh, I'll see if I can show it in a little bit, but it's to get a boarding pass through a kiosk because there's a big fear that the Disneyland app is gonna uh, crash. So that big line that was forming all the way to Splash Mountain and Haunted Mansion area, it was for boarding passes to do it manually. And they're over here located next to Splash Mountain. There was also another one that was in, uh, there was also another one that was in Tomorrowland, I think. So we just confirmed right now as of 8.12. So it took 12 minutes for all the boarding passes to disappear. And that is as of opening day. So 12 minutes it took. Bob said he tried. Yeah. He said he tried from home and it's only allowing backup groups. So no wow. guaranteed groups, only backup. Yep. So as of 8.12, all the boarding groups are gone. The boarding group that we got was 79. Uh, I don't know how late that's going to be in regards to the time frame when we actually board the ride. But all that matters is we got a boarding pass and that's what we care about. We finally got inside Galaxy Edge. This is the Rise of the Resistance, what it looks like right now. It's 8, 8.15. As of 8.15, nobody has gone on the ride just yet. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I think there's a show being done in the front with Chewbacca. What rides are open? All the rides are open right now. Yeah! Ignite the spark! Looks like it's pretty crazy over here at Ronto Roasters. Holy smokes. Uh, this is what mobile order looks like right now. Teamwork. This is what it looks like at Ronto Roasters. Teamwork. One more. Just to get a Ronto Roaster, it's taking about uh, 30 minutes through the mobile app. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take like through the regular line, but it's crazy out here today. <laughs> Good luck, Ray. <laughs> All right, bye. There's the current situation right now, 9.44 a.m. It's uh, actually not too crazy out here. And it looks like boarding group 12 through 25. Are you cold, Megan? <laughs> yeah, it's colder now than it was earlier. I know. I'm my jacket. Uh, it's pretty cold. Here are the effects of Rides of the Resistance opening. An oh, empty okay. Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about the boarding pass like process, a lot of people that did a solo boarding pass got pretty high in regards to boarding or a pretty low boarding pass. So they're able to get on the ride quickly. Uh, for all the people that kind of had bigger groups, we all seem to have got boarding passes above 60. Uh, so maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? But uh, I just wanted to bring that up that a lot of people said that today. So a lot of people that did solo boarding groups got on the ride fairly quickly in the beginning groups. Made our way over here to Tomorrowland. Right next to Star Wars Launch Bay entrance to the right, there's this coffee shop. And they have a really cool sipper that has just arrived right there. Let me show you. It's a Kylo Ren premium sipper for $20 or $21 if you get a frozen lemonade. It's like a toy. And then the way it works is you open the top end and that's where you would put the drink. And over oh here in Tomorrowland, they still got Millennium Falcon. They got a lot of them. And I think it's being sold for A buddy that was just in the queue right now for Rise of the Resistance as of 10.13. The ride has broke down and she's stuck in the queue. Oh, that's devastating. Hopefully this breakdown is not too long as we are boarding group 79. So we have to wait till the evening 
Uh, 79, boarding group 79 is a late one. Right here at the end of Main Street where Coke Corner is and where Photo Supply Company on Main Street. <laughs> they have the popcorn bucket that we were talking about. Disneyland 1950s popcorn bucket. Okay. 1950s. Let's well, go it has lands. Yeah. How much is it? $5. Five dollars? Awesome. Over the hill, I'll bet you're sure it always has and sure it always will. That's time.